So here, Michelle, we're gonna just put a little bit more stress on this muscle, make you work a little harder. Again, it's the glute medius, and we specifically target the posterior glute medius. It tends to be weak and even ultra-marathon runners. You see a lot of people walking down the street and they sway side to side as they walk. It's because they, have, they lack the strength here to stabilize as they're walking through their swing phase of, of their gait cycle. Again, your shoulders are against the wall, hips are against the wall. I like to get people's top hip a little forward of the bottom one, so I just use a rolled up towel to bring you a little forward, okay? That allows your leg, when we extend your leg up the wall, it allows you to come into a little bit of an extended position. The key thing here is that you engage your low abs before you start. When you engage that transverse abdominus, the back should tighten at the same time. So the pelvis stays level, the spine is supported. You're not gonna lift your leg and let yourself hike. So it's not the pelvis moving. So start again here with your knee bent. Give you a little rest and you're ready here. We're gonna lift your leg up against the wall. Your hip is turned inwards a little bit, internally rotated. And you wanna be thinking of reaching with your feet out the length of your leg, which will prevent you from hiking your hip and your pelvis. Your toes can be just be relaxed. And in this position, lift your leg straight up the wall and back down and up again and back down, sliding your heel against the wall, doing it with socks. Okay, if you let me hold this for a sec, you can take your hands, again, poke into your glute medius and stick your thumb on your tensor fascia latte right on the front of the hip. Now do these again, and you want to feel that backside muscle working without the inner one, nice and slow both ways. People will generally cheat by bringing the leg forward, rolling the hips back, right, and going up and down like this. And that's how you can feel the front side of the hip working, and that tends to be over-dominant in the first place. And you can do those until you're blue in the face, right? Everybody tends to be weak on that backside. Good.